Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you all have seen from the thumbnail, I'll be using aluminum foil, but before I get started with that, I'm using this foam board and four of these four by five inch mirrors to trace and cut out six squares. FYI, I'm just using these mirrors to get the shape that I want. I'm using my X-Acto knife to cut this out. I like to flip my foam board over and cut it again so that way it comes right out. So now that I cut out all six pieces, I'm going to sand all the sides. Now I'm gluing them all together by twos. Now it's time to use the foil and I like to rip a little piece off before using it and I'm going to combine this fix all adhesive glue along with hot glue to adhere all the foil. Since hot glue dries really fast, I'm ripping a piece of foil off before adding the hot glue. I made sure the foil was a lot bigger than my square and all I'm doing is scrunching the foil up. Now I'm cutting off all the excess foil. This is how it looks, and if you are going to recreate this, make sure that the shinier side is facing upwards. I brought my squares outside to spray paint them with my gold metallic spray paint that I purchased from Home Depot. Now I'm adding strips of this bling wrap that I purchased from Amazon, but if you wanted to keep it all Dollar Tree, you can simply add the pearl wrap or the diamond wrap. This bling wrap is self-adhesive, but if you wanted to recreate this, then I suggest you add a strong adhesive so this bling wrap can last over time. This is the inspiration photo for today's video, and I must say, I love how it turned out. You barely could tell it's aluminum foil. It's very lightweight and glamorous. Comment below and let me know if you would recreate this. For my second project, I'm using another foam board in 10 of these four by five inch mirrors. And I'm just using these mirrors to trace and cut the shape that I want. I'm completing the same exact steps as I did for my first project. Now I'm adding this ivory glossy vinyl paper and this is self adhesive, but I'm going to add a little glue just so it can stick better. As I was laying this vinyl paper down, I noticed that the glue was showing through the bottom. So if you are going to recreate this, then do not add the glue. This vinyl paper does adhere very well to the foam board without the glue. 
I know it adheres to the foam board without the glue because I used this vinyl paper in a previous video. The glue shows right through this, but y'all will see a little later on in the video what I did to fix this. Now I'm using these basketballs, a floral foam piece, and also these toothpicks. I'm placing three toothpicks at the bottom of the balls, and then I'm going to insert that into the floral foam piece. So that way, when I get ready to add the glue, the balls don't roll everywhere. I'm using a combination of this fix all adhesive glue and also hot glue and I made sure that I ripped a piece of foil off before adding the hot glue and I'm just going to complete the same exact steps as I did for the squares. I'm just scrunching the foil up. I left this piece open because this piece will be the bottom. I'm spray painting all these gold as well. I decided to just cover this with more foil. I'm completing those same exact steps as I did for project number one. I'm leveling the bling wrap with the back edge so that way I can be able to press the remainder of the bling wrap onto the front of my foam board. Now I'm just placing a strip or two of this bling wrap down and each ball will have a different design. This is how all my designs turned out and I'm placing toothpicks along with hot glue at the bottom to keep these in place. I decided to add some of these bling stickers that I purchased from Michaels a while back for the final touches and this project is light enough to add just command strips to hang my project on the wall. How gorgeous and glamorous is this? Would y'all have known this was aluminum foil if you didn't see me create it? Comment below and let me know which was your favorite project for this week.